Hello and welcome to Paper Plays, Julie Kay. Hello and welcome to the January installment of Smash That Small Paper Pad Collab hosted by Deb Huck. There are a number of other talented ladies who are participating in this collab, so make sure you open up that description box to check them out. And again, this is Smashing That Small Paper Pad Collab and we will be posting our videos on the 25th of each month. And our whole purpose is to try to smash as many small paper pads as we can in the next coming year. And so last year I did decide to start with four different paper pads that I'd be working in. And here are the four paper pads. The first one's the Downton Abbey one. And this is a six by six paper pad from Crafter's Companion. I also chose Butterfly Kisses from Bow Bunny and this Time Machine by Kaiser Craft, and also the Graphic 45. This one's a Children's Hour collection. And if you watched my video last month, I did state that I was planning on using just the same month for the month that the collab was going on. So if this was January, I was using the January papers for February, I'll use the February papers. So I do have an item to show a couple items to show you guys from the January papers that I use in this one. And then I also chose to start working in the Downton Abbey. I did not touch either one of these paper pads yet. And for the Downton Abbey one, I decided I wanted to make a junk journal. And so I just have embellishments to share with you today and I will keep on working at creating embellishments with this paper pad until I feel I have enough items to create a journal and then I'll go ahead and make a journal um, with some other items in my overall craft stash but I will be sharing the embellishments that I created and so to begin with I'll show you guys what I created with the graphic 45 paper and for the graphic 45 paper um, I also decided to go ahead and use up this children's hour it matches the paper pad their cutouts the little envelopes and I thought that a lot of the parts of this little cutout pieces would easily be able to be put into a future junk journal and so I will be making some stuff with that too as we go along each month and I also the one cutting guy that I use is this particular one and it's a a long one it's a step card and it's from a company called cheery lynn and so it makes a step card and so that was the first item i created with this paper pad was a step card and this one says january and i used the little bits and pieces of the paper the cutouts and i also used some cardstock kind of a darker blue and a cream colored cardstock and then on the inside I used part of the cutouts that just said wishing you a fabulous new year and then there's another little sentiment up here that came from the paper that says close by the jolly fire I sit to warm my frozen bones a bit and it just fit up there so I put that one up there and that's what that card looks like and then with all of the pieces left over I made little embellishments to probably use in a junk journal or something else later on. So this one there was a cut out, cut out that was the postcard and so I did layer it. If you can see the background piece was part of the graphic 45 paper and I did use a brad here so that it can open up for kind of a secret journaling spot. And so I have that little embellishment. Another little embellishment that you could add is a tuck spot onto a journal. And so it does look like that. And I do have a, a, two layers of the paper from the Graphic 45 and then this third little pocket layer. And then I just cut up the little postage stamps that can be stuck into the pocket or also attached to a card or a journal later on. And there was another little tag in there that I cut up. And then also the January calendar that I cut up and sewed onto a piece of the scrap cardstock that I had left. So for now I just put all of these items in this little pocket. But if I were to use these in a journal I'd probably use the postage stamp somewhere else. I also created a little 3x3 card with that cute little girl on there. And then I just left the inside blank. I also used one of the pieces of paper to make just a little mini book to add into a journal or else you could just use it as is and just stick it into your purse or something and I just used some I just dug out scrap papers 
that kind of match some tea dyed papers and then I think there was one scrapbooking paper that was in my stash that kind of matched or reminded me of January with just the swirls on it and then I used a little snow embellishment and added some eyelash trim then the last item I created this was from the cutout this little tag part right here but behind it you can see I had one little piece of paper left um, from the graphic 45 paper pad so I use that as my base and again this just flips open and you can journal on there and then also on the back side of this little envelope as kind of a little embellishment for a junk journal and this one you could either just glue down as is or you could add a tab and then you could flip it again and then add another piece of paper back here and you would have another great journaling spot or you could attach it to your page and use it as a tuck spot also and so the only pieces that I didn't use from that Graphic 45, and I don't really see myself using these little pieces, is there was a couple cutouts that just, um, I couldn't think of any ideas. I don't have any kids or anything. And so this one was just a playtime one, and it had a little kid playing with a train on it. I'll hold on to them for a while in case I come up with something, but I didn't have anything for that border piece. And then this one says, how am I to sing your praise? Happy chimney corner days. And I wasn't sure what, I'm sure it maybe relates to something in January from somewhere, but I wasn't sure what chimney corner days were and I didn't have time to look it up. So I didn't use that piece also. And then this one just says, the cold wind burns my face and blows its frosty pepper up my nose. And it just sounded funny to me, frosty pepper up my nose. So I just couldn't see myself using those couple pieces. So I'm not gonna use those on anything. So again, the next items I'm gonna be sharing with you guys came from the Downton Abbey paper collection. And so the first couple items, again, I'm gonna be creating items for a junk journal. And so this was the first item that I ended up creating out of that paper pad. Um, I used a couple pieces of paper and I made a pocket with a tag in it. And so far all the stamps that I used on any of the, anything that I show you today all came from the Downton coordinating rubber stamps that went with it. So if you see any rubber stamps on any of the projects, just know that they came from one of these four items. And so for this one, the tag, this top part of the tag, and then also this gold piece right here came from a Gemini edgeable cutting die. And this one was called Emerald Edge. And then the cute little bow up here was a Downton Abbey bow. It's called the Ribbon Brooch. I, did, I do have quite a few of the... Downton Abbey cutting dies. And then this little cutout right here was a Spellbinders one and the stamp of course there and here came from the Downton Abbey collection. And the little tag that I used here, that was one of the labels 28 from Spellbinders cutting die. And so that just fits in here. And so I did end up cut using that same edgeable die and I created another little um, tuck spot pocket just with some of the scraps after I made that. So you could use this to in a journal to tuck something into it. And then depending upon how you glue it down, you could also tuck something behind there. So I have that little embellishment piece also. Then next I created another little pocket tuck sort of thing um, for the junk journal and again I used the same Spellbinders cutting die to cut my base and I made a pocket and then I also used this Downton Abbey cutting die right here right there so I do have a little tuck spot here and I cut out a little ticket and so that can go there and then I can still put a larger tag behind here but I have it I'm just kind of waiting to see once I've done some bigger pieces then I'll start making and creating some more tags to put into them so I don't have a tag for this one yet but that was another item I created and I just added um, little lace at the bottom I also use this little desire classic chandelier die and I just cut it out with some gold scrap paper that I had in my stash and I put it on one of the Downton Abbey papers. 
And so I'll be able to use that in the journal somehow. I haven't decided yet. Or I could add a little eyelid at top and make it into a tag. I still might add a couple little rhinestone embellishments onto the chandelier just to make it stand out a little bit more, but I haven't done that yet. If you look at the die cut on this sample, they do have some little rhinestones on it, and I think that's really pretty. So I think I might might go ahead and do that on this one yet. Then the next one that I did was just kind of a little flip out piece to use in a journal where I made a little tab right here so you could attach it to your journal page and then you can flip out here in journal or flip it this way in journal and then I created a little pocket here with one of the scrap pieces after I made that one big pocket tag I had a little piece left over so I used that there and, I, and then for this little edgeable die it was a crafter's companion one and this one was called countess crown that I used just to kind of add a little bit of an embellishment to it. So I have that little piece that I created. And then I went ahead and created a couple of pockets. So I have this pocket right here and also this corner pocket right here. And again, I just went through, I had a lot of gold paper in my scrap pile that I've used in the past for Christmas cards. And so it matched this Downton Abbey paper collection beautifully. And so on these two, for the pockets, and I'm not quite sure, I used um, from Heartfelt Creations, they have these beautiful border dies. One of them is the classic border set. And then the other one is, this one's called the Fleur Border Basics. And these again are all Heartfelt Creations. And so I used those to create these two pockets. I know these are really popular. If you like mini album, making mini albums, these work great for mini albums too. So I created those and then the little die cuts that I used on here, there's a feather and also the fan. These, the fan came from the Crafters Companion Victorian collection and then the feather was uh, called Feather Brooch and that's from Downton Abbey. So I did also start a little box of scraps. Um, as you guys know, I like to use up all my bits and pieces. So I do have a couple more pieces that I can make into pockets left in here or cut them up and use them with, for something else. So I haven't done anything with those two yet. I did die cut some other stuff that I haven't chosen to put on anything yet. So I do have bits and pieces that I'll still be able to make into things. Um, but I did cut out some smaller tags when I cut out bigger things. If there's just a little bit left on that Downton Abbey paper, I do cut out smaller tags and banner pieces so that those can also be added into the journal. And so I'll keep on adding them in there. And I think these are the only thing that are just scrap papers. But as if you guys do junk journals, you know, little pieces like this can easily be made into belly bands. So I save those. And then... Um, on this particular one, this purple paper is just some paper from my scrap pile, but I did cut out this little piece to go on top of it, and that was just left over from a scrap. And so I can go ahead and add some sort of word wording to that later on. And when I was die cutting this purple piece out, I cut out this cute little purple piece also. And again, I can add some sort of sentiment right there later on or cut up another scrap piece of paper first and then add a sentiment over that one. So I do have a couple little miscellaneous pieces like that in here. And when I was trying to figure out that tag, I cut up some different pieces and stamped on them. So I threw those in here for right now to play with just so I have some more things for the journal when I actually make it. So thanks again, everybody, so much for watching the January installment of Smash That Small Paper Pad Collab with Deb Huck. Um, hopefully you were inspired to create a couple of things. And of course, don't forget to open up that description box to check out everybody else's videos for the month. And until next time, um, hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.